Bernie Sanders has run out of other people's money. He's run straight into the buzzsaw known as economic reality. What's up, my fellow patriots of the Trump Fan Network community? My name is Andrew Sosa, a.k.a. Sosa Potence 300. I have become an official sponsor of this channel, especially since the last one got deleted. YouTube is absolutely traitorous for that. But if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would highly appreciate it. When you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and select the All feature. And when you share this video around, tell them to do the exact same thing. I do movie reviews, I do fiction content, and soon, once I reach 1,000 subscribers... With y'all's help especially, I will start doing pro-Trump content, all right? So please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. All feature, like I said before, and follow me on all my other social media platforms. By supporting me, you are also supporting channels like the Trump Fan Network. I think we should be doing for every state in this country 15 bucks an hour. At least 15 bucks an hour. Which means 15 bucks an hour. 15 bucks an hour. I think $15 an hour is an appropriate minimum wage. To $15 an hour. And that is 15 bucks an hour. Raise the minimum wage. 15 bucks an hour. 15 bucks an hour. I mean, that's why I'm fighting for a $15 an hour minimum wage. $15 an hour. That's what a $15 minimum wage, oh, depending on the polls, may be to 15 bucks an hour. Yes, we are going to raise the minimum wage in this country to at least 15 bucks an hour. If elected president, trust me, every worker in this country will make at least $15 an hour. Oh wait, unless the workers work for Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign. Bernie Sanders, who claims that anything less than $15 an hour is a quote, starvation wage, who says that every worker deserves at least a living wage of $15 an hour, who says, quote, the greed must end, and who celebrated the House Democrats passing a bill that forces government to mandate a $15 an hour minimum wage across the country, all the while Bernie Sanders himself refused to pay his own campaign workers $15 an hour, until, of course, his own workers exposed him to the media. I want to show you uh, Bernie Sanders' uh, tweet of recent note. He says simply, and we're talking about the climate change issue, which is popular amongst these candidates, saying Donald Trump believes climate change is a hoax. Donald Trump is an idiot. Just straight? <laughs> what do you make of that? It's like, the, is this the comedy block at 7.30 in the morning? I mean, Donald Trump's an idiot? This is Bernie Sanders. I want to spend $30 trillion in 10 years. You like my Bernie? Or Bernie's, Donald's an idiot? This guy wants to spend $30 trillion over the next 10 let, years. We're $20 let trillion not, in debt. Let us not deprive you of that, Dan. Real quickly, here is what you're talking about. Senator, give me a number. Medicare for all, an approximate number. How much would it cost? Somewhere between 30 and 40 trillion over a 10 year period. What, what, what? <laughs> Just nonchalantly <laughs> dropping that out there. We're talking about a guy who can't do first grade level math. And he's Donald Trump's an idiot. Let's, I mean, shall we go on? Bernie Sanders, this guy's never had a real job outside of politics his entire life. Oh! I believe there's a story I think he was kicked out of a commune when he was like engaged in some kind of communist work program or something. And Donald Trump's an idiot. He wants, again, you understand he can't do basic math. Griff, he believes in the money fairy. Oh! He go, money? Oh, we can find money anywhere. Oh, money, money here, money there. It's never his money. The, Griff, the guy owns, what is it, two or three houses? Is it two or three now? I'm not sure. He owns two or three houses and he claims to be a socialist. And Donald Trump's an idiot? Let me tell you something, all you Sanders supporters out there. There is, I, I, say, I don't know the guy, I've never met him. But I'm telling you right now, based on his public statements, I have never in my life seen a bigger phony fake fraud in politics than this joker. Oh! Every, he's never had a job, he doesn't work, he's a, he's a million, I'm a millionaire. This guy, you notice he stopped railing against millionaires and billionaires? He only rails against billionaires now, you know why? 
because he's a millionaire. He's <laughs> right. the biggest phony out there. Total fraud. And Martha McCallum in his town hall nailed him to the wall on that. You don't like the Trump tax cuts? Well, you 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 pay that rate, don't you? You don't pay extra. Yeah. Well, of course I'm going to pay that rate. Phony, fraud, fake, total fraud. Dan, Dan, you mentioned budget. He says 30 to 40 trillion dollars over 10 years. The current federal budget is roughly 4.7 trillion. What? 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 So that means. He's going to double the size of the federal budget each year to pay for Medicare for all. It's, it's lunacy. Yet he's he, taken he seriously. He thinks there's a money fairy out there. He, he thinks like, they, like the tooth fairy that they come in the middle of the night and they just drop money on people's pillow to pay their taxes. This guy is a total phony. He is the biggest fake I have ever seen in politics. And I can't believe that people are getting suckered by this guy every day. He flies for, remember that story about his private travel during the, I thought he was a climate change guy. Yeah, uh, climate change, you, you're spewing CO2 yeah. all yep. over the country so you can fly around in a private jet. He's a big phony. Because all they right. hear free college. They hear free college, free health insurance, free, yeah, free, 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 and they're going to go to the And we always wonder whether you're going to tell us how you really feel. <laughs> so The minimum wage to a living wage. If people work 40 hours a week, they should not be living in poverty. It's a starvation wage. Is a starvation wage. Starvation wage should not be living in poverty. We've got to move the minimum wage to a living wage. That person should not live in poverty. Be living in poverty. Poverty will go down. You should not be living in poverty. That person should not be living in poverty. That person should not be living in poverty. Is a starvation minimum wage. If you work 40 hours a week, you should not be living in poverty. Be living in poverty. Minimum wage is a starvation minimum wage. A living wage. To a living wage, 15 bucks an hour. Unfortunately, the workers on his campaign do not make $15 an hour. They complained. They said they were paid starvation wages. <laughs>